Hi there, Titans. Today, we're going to be talking about how to configure box integration in Titan Flow. Let's take a look. So I've got my Flow project here. And what I want to be able to do is have my end user pass a file from the form over to Box. So I've got my Box account here, brand new account. And the first thing I need to do is make sure that I'm authenticated. So I want to go to settings on my dashboard, integrations and box and make sure to authenticate. Once I'm authenticated, I'm going to set up my flow. So the first thing I need is a variable to catch my file and a place to return my box ID. So I've got file from web and box ID. Now I'm going to click my plus button integrations box and I'm going to name my folder. So we're going to call this Titan folder and we need a file prefix. So let's say from web form and let's just say from web and let's even do it like this and let's do file upload. So we're choosing that variable that we're going to pass from Titan web and let's do box ID over here. All right, next, pass file to box. Now I'm going to come over to my web project. Let's just get rid of this and we'll do a new one. So I want to pass my file to my flow and I've got my box integration. Let's not run in background so we can see it happening. And I'll pass my file. All right. So we're all set. Let's just publish over here. Always remember to publish your flow and we're ready to check it out. So I'll upload a file. Let's just do sign doc POC and I'll go ahead and trigger my flow. And I'll refresh over here. And here we go. Titan folder. Let's see what we got inside. We've got our from web sign doc POC document passed along. So again, it's as simple as coming over to integrations box, passing, giving it a folder name, giving it a prefix for your file and deciding what file you're going to upload and where you're going to store your ID. And that's how it's done.